Hello and welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2, despite what the what the title screen says. Um, let me be upfront with you before we even start. I have played, I think, somewhere in the realm of 20 to 25 hours of this game, maybe inching closer to 30. Um, that has all been on my Xbox. I just got the game for a second time here on PlayStation. I just downloaded it again. Um, I thought it'd be fun to start over and uh, maybe try a different vocation this time and uh, see how the beginning of the game feels again. So here we are. Uh, why the restart? I didn't want to just jump into like a almost 30 hour save file on stream. Um, I think I wanted to preserve some of the things that I'm seeing in my game for, uh, for other people. That was, that was my thought. Uh, didn't want to give too much away. Because uh, I'm seeing some stuff. There's some stuff happening in my game that uh, I don't fully want to show off. Maybe one day. Conviction. I, I missed it. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. I just. I only got to the word conviction before. Like, before it went away. I'm curious if going through all of this again is gonna illuminate anything for me. This guy rocks. This is Captain Brant. Lend me your ears. Long as our favorite man suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erlan sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the console. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. Finally. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> yeah, dude. The Sovereign is here, baby. He's got pointy shoes. Pretty boring posture. It's a big moment for the world. I actually don't know if it's still called Grancis in this game. Wow. At last. Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. I really like the music in this game. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Long live the sovereign! Who is he? A reason. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter. This is very interesting to watch a second time. I won't say why, but it's very interesting. All right. We're starting the game. Uh, I know this game's mechanics first, but I'm curious how you feel about the story so far. It's, v it's more interesting than I was expecting. Um, 
I should say pretty early on here, I am a Dragon's Dogma sicko uh, <laughs> in a pretty big way. Um, I haven't played enough of the first game to really have like gamer cred there, but I sure have played the opening 10 hours of that game like three or four times, um, but never, never finished it. Uh, No need to be shy. We're obviously creating a character. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Yes. Use existing character data to create the Arisen. Did I make... I think I made Waluigi, right? Sure did. There he is. I mean, why not? He's covered in mud. Uh, I do think I want to make him a thief, though. So I've been playing as a fighter uh, in my main game, but uh, man, he looks pretty good. But I think I think I'm gonna go thief. Uh, let's let's check out some voices real quick. Yeah, he sounds a little wild. All right, uh, yeah, let's do it. Finalize. His name is Wallace. What age do we think Waluigi is? He, is he is he late 30s? Is he early 40s? How old is Waluigi, do we think? I feel like he's like he's like late 30s. Uh 48. He could be 60. He, yeah, looking real young, but he's a, a a young a young late 60s. Uh I'm going to go smack dab in the middle of all of these, I think. And I'm going to make him I'm going to make him 47. All right. Waluigi's dogma. I feel like that look in your eyes. It is clearly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. <laughs> Mayhap it is only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. This guy's voice is awesome. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Does age have an impact? I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, muscle mass and, like, height uh, changes your carry weight, which is pretty wild. Um... But uh, I'm not sure about age. That's, that's a good question. All right. I forgot how much stuff there is at the top of this game before we, like, really start doing stuff. We'll uh, kind of rush through some of it a little bit, though. The hole. It's interesting. I don't recognize that building. I have to come back here. Can I run yet? They're not letting me use most of the buttons. I can talk to all these people, but I won't. Man, this Waluigi looks pretty good. I don't know if he looks as good as my... Do your injuries pain you? Ah, oh, Rook. Do not overexert yourself. Rook, uh, for those of you who played Dragon's Dogma 1, superhero. This is no place for one of your ilk. It is harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Let's proceed to the site. All right. There we go. We're jogging. All right, we're going this way. All right. I got to pick some stuff Time up. For you to get to work. All right. You are prepared to work. Then yep. you will begin by 
I'm gonna I'm gonna skip some of this for uh, content reasons. Just whip through some of this stuff. All right, we we have to get one boulder, and we have to bring it. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Jump. Okay, we gotta bring this up to up to Rook. A job well done. Oh no. A calamity has struck. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. There we go. Now now we're running. That design is so cool. No, the damn thing's been awoken. You can fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Get me out of here now. Weapons. Waluigi will take up arms. I'm covered in mud, and I have two daggers and one big mustache. And you know what that means. Swift strikes are a thief's greatest weapon. Watch for an opening, then press your foot till we are overwhelmed. I'm just, ha I'm just hanging on to this guy. How are we doing on stamina? Oh, we're doing so good on stamina. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them Okay, wait, we, we gotta jump off here. We gotta jump off. We gotta jump off. There we go. Uh why can't I move? Oh there we go. I was talking to Steven about this earlier. Apparently the thief is very Shadow of the Colossus. Like even more so than the rest of this game. Oh, damn. Um, th this vocation in particular is just like big shadow of the Colossus energy. Alright, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to throw this at its face if I can. Okay, I need to get out of here. There we go. No, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, this works. Baby. We got him. There we go. Greetings from Saturday morning in Japan. Oh, good morning. Good for you. Saturday. Friday. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say. That's further than I thought. Yeah, I spent a long time working on the Waluigi nose. Some games where I make Waluigi, so, you know, every game that I play that has a character creator, I try and make Waluigi. Um, I will say, side note, Dragon's Dogma 1, not a great Waluigi creator. Um, this one, pretty good, definitely. Um, but some character creators allow you to, like, shade different parts of people's faces differently. Uh, and I was really looking for that in this one. I was hoping that I could make his nose the like pink that it's supposed to be. Don't 
coming to the end of Rebirth today, 80 plus hours in. Definitely want to check this game out, though. Rebirth. I think of all the games I'm playing right now, this is not... I'm glad you're enjoying it, but I think Rebirth right now, of the games I'm playing actively, is at the bottom of my list of ones that I want to turn on when I sit down. It's like Dragon's Dogma, way above everything, and then Persona 3, Like a Dragon, Unicorn Overlord, Final Fantasy, I think is where I'm at at the moment. I will probably finish all of them before the year is out, though. As we said on the show, Dragon's Dogma, notably not a two on this title card. Um, this cutscene whips. This is so fun. Um, yeah, no notably... Uh, wait, what? No, I said that already. Um, yeah, I, th I think... Uh, as we said on the show, Dragon's Dogma is kind of the end at the moment. I mean, I know there are other games, but kind of the end of this like gauntlet of just like incredible game after incredible game after incredible game. Um, there are obviously other incredible games coming, but um, there's a little bit more space now between the release schedule, which is nice, uh, which means I can devote more time to finishing all this stuff. So I'm really dying to finish a... Uh, Oh, uh, is this? It is who I think it is. Okay. I won't say anything about that. Um, I'm dying to finish. Uh... Oh, she shoots me down. That's funny. I'm dying to finish Persona 3. How much Persona 3 do you have left? Uh, I'm like right towards the end. Um, final month and a half of game. Very close. Um, but, you know, immediately got hit with Unicorn Overlord Final Fantasy in this, uh, which pulled me away. But I'm, I'm dying to go back and finish it because that game rocks. What are you playing Dragon's Dogma 2 on? This is PS5 right now. Um, I also have it on my Xbox, which is where I'm playing it mainly. Um, but... This copy of Dragon's Dogma 2 is uh, going to be the, the streaming experience. Wow, there he is. Unbelievable how good he looks. Honestly, like this close-up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Unbelievable way to open this game. Oi, are you all right? What happened here? Uh. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It, is it a was. Wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. <laughs> it's very fun. The, the lip sync is totally non-existent in this game when you're like in engine or like in game. Uh, Cutscenes, yeah, but not at all here. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty fast. Oh, what do we got a chest immediately? Love that. Oh, we got a salubrious delight. I can't stop saying salubrious delight. I wanted to come see if there's anything I can pick up off the heart or off the griffin. No. Damn. It's brutal. All right. That's fine. We can go. Um, now the dust is settled around microtransactions performance. Lasting concern is lack of enemy variety. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I've heard and I have read and I have really embedded myself in a lot of the conversations I've seen around this game. Um, I I don't think they're like... 
Pick up your weapon, sir. I don't think they're like, uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I have a dash. I just, I went, I went to press the shield button, um, because that's what I have as a fighter after playing as much as I have, but, uh, I have a dash now, which honestly, very interesting. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, do I have a... I do. I, I have a weapon skill. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Rocked. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. That's true. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Get a bunch of stuff. Um, anyway, sorry. I, I got distracted by goblins and tutorials. Um, yeah, the, the stuff that I've heard about this game, uh, regarding, you know, lack of enemy variety, uh, traveling is not fun, um, et cetera, et cetera. None of that is true for me. Um, I have not found that to be a problem, but again, like noted Dragon's Dogma to sicko over here or just in general. I, I, I love this game so much. Like I, I can't really, I can't really overstate how much I love this game. Um, and, oh, wow. Yo, Thief Rocks. Um, and that, that stuff hasn't really bothered me at all. Um, you know. What do you mean I can't just run off now? You, you're, we're both going to the same place, my guy. And I've done this before. Here are the pawns. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. This guy's the Arisen, baby. The wow risen, more like. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a ripstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. All right. Time to create a character. Sorry, I didn't really fully answer that question. Um, the, th the thing about enemy variety in general in this game, um, and the thing about pretty much everything that's going on in this game, uh, is my feeling and my experience with it I, let me let me start by saying that this is this is how i feel in particular i'm in no way saying that other people can't feel the way that they're feeling um but my experience and my feeling about it is um there's been a lot of intentional design in this game's world the rules within that world the inhabitants of the world um etc 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 and when i think about enemy variety in a game like this uh, what I'm asking myself is, um, is, is the collection of enemies that I'm going and fighting throughout the world, um, realistic and in line with the rules and the fiction that the design team behind this game has, has set up. And to me, the answer to that question is yes. Um, you know, when I'm fighting goblins for the billionth time on the same road that I've been on. That makes sense to me because that's where goblins hang out. Um, and when I am in a new area and there are new kinds of goblins, that also makes sense to me because there are, uh, you know, different biomes and those different biomes will produce different kinds of goblins and creatures and things like that. So all of that makes sense to me. Um, I don't really have an issue with it. I will say the thing that I do bump up against is less the enemy variety itself. I think a much more interesting conversation to have about it personally is like the ease of combat in some cases. Um, so like once you've killed a bunch of goblins, you really know how to kill a bunch of goblins. Um, and the subtle differences between the goblins that exist are not as wide 
as to make combat more interesting when you're fighting like a hobgoblin versus a goblin. Um, even though they are like bigger, stronger, have some more things going on, um, you're not changing your strategy that much, and you're not approaching that combat differently. That's that's my bigger, that's my bigger twist on that conversation, I think. Um, but uh, it hasn't stopped me from enjoying this game so much. Uh, yeah. All right. We're making a we're gonna make a cat lady. And uh we're gonna go we're gonna go preset adjacent, I think. Honestly, she's cool like immediately. I might I might not even go too wild in a too wildly different direction from this. Let's let's see what uh I just wanted to be like ripped. Oh. Uh, muscle strength. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty tall. Oh, we need to make the, the head bigger. I think to match this a little bit. Elbow angle. Oh, I keep doing that. Why do I keep doing that? Knee angle. All right. Uh, honestly, pretty happy with this pawn. Okay. So here's the big question. So the most obvious thing to do is to have a mage as your as your like fixed pawn. And then your mage will always be there, and you can experiment elsewhere. Um, I like swapping mages in and out, personally, uh, which is maybe not the move, but I'm about to have the opportunity to hire some more pawns. So I'm kind of thinking, like, what if we just had a really fucking cool Beastron fighter pawn? Uh, can you multi-class your pawn? Yeah, you can. Yes. You, you and your pawn have... Um, kind of equal range when it comes to uh, leveling up and going through the character progression system. Um, so I could like start her as a fighter and then move elsewhere, but I think I am going to start her as a fighter. All right, this is this is where it gets interesting. Compassionate, devoted, dutiful. Favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support. Favors defense and evasion, employing clever tactics. Enjoys exploring, gathering items, always up for a challenge. Candid, flippant, and impulsive, upon unbound by precepts, enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head-on with daring assaults. Definitely straightforward. People here are evacuated and safe. People here are evacuated. People here are evac. People here are evacuated and safe. The people here are of the people. The people. The people. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. There are more who can yet be saved. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name her. Glitch is fun. Gwyneth is also fun. Let's, uh, let's see. I 
Honestly, seeing uh, seeing calf here made me think. What about calf? C A T H. Do they have that? They have Catherine, and I'm gonna do calf, like that one death cap song. And also, she's a cat, so synergy. <laughs> Let's do it. Calf. She stands. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. Yeah. Kath and I are going to get along. Kath and Waluigi. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Kath has definitely found a well-intentioned man here. There he is. His name is Waluigi. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Didn't we all? Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The watchhead would know what to do. Questions abound. Sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like before then. All right. First things first. What? Mayhap you could make for Mel, then. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Yeah, we, we gotta go to Melv. Border watch outpost, baby. Uh, first thing we're doing is we're hiring some more pawns. We're going to get a mage and uh, I think a fighter. No, we already have a fighter. We're going to get a mage and uh, I actually I don't know what else. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. No, we're good, man. I, I, I know how, how everything works. Thank you, though. All right. Oh, they gave us 120 rift crystals. That's nice. La, la, la. All right. We need a mage. Uh, that's just racism. All right. Damn, dude. Uh, let's pull in a mage and I guess an archer. An archer makes sense. Let's do a mage and an archer. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I need any of that stuff. Hello, Vanessa. That name is Poison. Seems bad. Diana. I like these two. Raya and Elendor. Let's see what Elendor's got going on. carefully conserve my strength. And endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Yeah, I like him. He seems like a little bit of a wet blanket in a fun way. Uh, and he's got the ability to heal me, which is important, which I guess they all do, but uh, cool. And this is the fire, yeah. And uh, magic missile. Yeah, dude, you're in. Be an honor to serve by your side. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. That's one. Yeah, what's uh I didn't see what his pawn quest was. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer such as I. Raya, you're in. Come join me. Uh let me let me take a look actually real quick. Yeah, I mean she's new. That's fine. Hi. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. Let's not dawdle. Alright, dude. We're out. We got the full crew. You'd love to see it. All right. Oh, you're healing me. Arisen to me. I shall heal you. Wait Great. A moment. Great start. Good job, Elendor. How often are you meant to cycle through pawns? Honestly, um, pretty much until you get to the point where you're like, 
there are many levels below you. So your main pawn, so in this case, Kath for me, will level up alongside me. Um, not at the same rate, but like pretty close. Uh, but these two pawns who I hired from the Rift will stay their same level, so they'll both stay at level two. Uh, and at a certain point, I will want to have stronger pawns with me, and that's when I cycle them out. Go now, are you? You will at least rest for the evening. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. Make for the logics. Um, but the pawns also come with uh, pawn quests. So in this case, uh, this oh, this is just my pawn. Uh, travel together for a day and a night. So if somebody hires Kath and they travel with her for a day and a night, they get a Wakestone shard out of it. Uh, so for me, oh yeah, both of these other pawns, same deal. Uh, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, can take us to new heights. Here's our first ladder. Ladder mentioned. Ah, excellent find. Hoy there. My pa always used to say, I, mm -hmm. being armed, you should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. I definitely will. No hard. We must rest, though the sun is still up. All right, we're resting. I've been swapping them out when they can no longer hold their own in battles while adventuring. Only a matter of time before your skills reach a new height. Typically every five levels, yeah. Say, good things come to those who wait. That, uh, that seems pretty safe. That seems like a pretty safe, uh, bet. Hey, yo. You a soldier? Could be a surprise. We've had to start sending out. Is that so? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll. Aye. I, I expect he will. Accardo. What? Weren't half these reported in that area? This is the first I'm hearing of it. We're gonna go get Say, this guy. You seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our step? You've my thanks. And this is your first uh this is your first inkling of a of a quest. We must fly to the aid of those in need. Uh and importantly, I think it's your first inkling of a quest that you can uh take too long to accomplish. Ah! Oh, that was Kath throwing a boulder. That was pretty tight, actually. Hell yeah, Kath. Honestly, Kath rules, like, immediately. I'm such a big fan of Kath. Alright. Uh, th yeah, this is a safe way to go place to harvest some ingredients I say we collect as much as we can carry horse bud all right uh immediately okay wait a second hang on did I not make that my quest I did not so you can see that there's a little hourglass right there um that means that uh there's a time limit on this quest so if I was like, all right, I'm going to go fuck off and do some other stuff in the woods. Um, there is a possibility that Ricardo would just die uh, if I waited too long, which is pretty wild. What I've also noticed is that there are other quests that don't have this little hourglass next to it, and sometimes they also just end if you don't do them fast enough. Um, not as not as telegraphed as, like, this is obvious here, uh, but sometimes... Um, Sometimes quests will just be closed to you if you do other things. And the game is not, like, telegraphing that always to you. Um. Alright, this is why it's good to have an archer with you. I sure have, but, uh... There goes that one. There we go. Is that all of them? Oh, there's just goblins here, too. Oh, I'll say yes to this. Who's attacking? That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. That's true. Is that all of them? Sure is. You have my thanks. I've only just enlisted. And when I thought this could be the end of me, I... 
I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to track. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my super. All right. Uh. Back now. Yeah. So I can also go back and just be like, "Yo, we did it. We did the job." Wow. Honestly, Waluigi is the thief. Very good. Waluigi uh, as is my main pawn in my main game on Xbox, and uh, he's an archer, and he rocks. He's so good. Uh, completely indispensable, perfect, perfect pawn. Um, people are not hiring him very often, which is sad, but I also think not many people are playing this game on Xbox compared to other platforms, is my hey, feeling. Many thanks, Freight. Aye, that it was. The poor sub might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We All right. have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come. Later. We got some money. Oh, hello. Such moments make me proud to serve. Listen. We got some money, we got some lantern oil, which is nice. Um so anyway, back to back to the, the quest thing. Um you know, so some some quests have time limits on them. Uh, some of them do not have telegraph time limits at all. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, a lot of this stuff is pretty counter to what we know and expect from uh, all video games. Much less, uh, you know, open world fantasy video games like this. But... That's, I think, the thing that makes Dragon's Dogma so interesting is that it is, like, really marching to the beat of its own drum. What that means, though, is that it's super not for everybody. Um, I would go as far as arguing that it's not even for most people. I, th I think if you are open to it, uh, you'll have a good time with it. But, like, it is as much for everybody as, like, Elden Ring is. Uh, really at the heart of it, which I think Elden Ring proved to a lot of people that a Souls like could be for a larger audience than I think most people would have expected. Uh, but there's still a huge barrier to entry to getting in there, and it requires like unlearning and relearning a lot of things. And the same is true of Dragon's Dogma. I think it is like so nuanced and interesting the ways in which it is different um, and stands opposed to player expectation uh but that also means that you know i'm seeing a lot of hello oh it's a pawn uh when they like raise their hand like that that means they're a pawn uh they have like a glowing hand um that also means i'm just seeing a lot of discourse from You're people who like. have not played the first one saw the marketing for this one and uh expected it to be i think different or more welcoming than it is um and then there's the other side which is like i'm seeing a lot of discourse from people who did play the original and were expecting this to also be different than it is in some ways uh Different combinations of materials result in different creations. You know, I, I say this a lot on the show and off the show and whatever, but like, I think uh, generally speaking, expectation is uh, it's a tough nut to crack. Um, and I thought there was more money over here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one of my pawns picked it up already. Um, Expectation it can be, you know, a blessing and a curse in a lot of ways. And I wrote about this on Wavelengths. Wavelengths out online, baby. But, uh, you know, it it is the job of the marketing team to set expectations correctly. And I, I think uh, some of the marketing for this game pitched it to people as if it was going to be, like, the next Elden Ring. And that's not to say it's not. Um, there is a lot that this game has in common with Elden Ring. We've all got different vocations. You're not, Kath. I noticed when I picked you all out. Um, but 
I think people coming in expecting that or coming in expecting a Skyrim, which is another game this game gets compared to a lot, which I agree with in some ways. Um, they're going to... There's going to be a lot of things um, so, this that they're going to be uh, weirded out by, by or turned off by. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. Yeah, mayhap. Hello. Pitiable arisen. There she is, the one who shot me down on the griffin. <laughs> I'm sorry, just seeing Waluigi doing all this stuff is very funny. I feel like it's Waluigi acting in a movie. Like it's it's like the actor Waluigi in a di in a different video game. It's like Dragon's Dogma 2 starring Waluigi. All right, here we are. Time to fight the dragon. First of all, let's uh, escape that. Yeah, there we go. I, I want no part of that. Okay, let's, uh, here's, here's my first thought. There we go. Climb up here. Yeah, dude. Whoa! <laughs> okay. What's good? Whoop! We can just stand here for a minute. Oh, shit. No, we can't. Scary. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Dude, right in the face. Does it matter much? I don't know. You can do it, Waluigi. Cooked. Like, literally. Charge and all. This shot of the dragon is so fucking cool. Ugh. How audiobook friendly is this game? Uh, Great question. I've been trying to listen to podcasts while playing. Hear me, sir. Sir, 
um, not as audiobook or podcast friendly as uh, I think you would hope for or even assume, um, which I'll explain in a minute. We're, I think we just got to get through this cutscene and then we'll be back in video game land. There he is. His beautiful purple eyes. Hello. That's Goodness. very from soft, the just like no dialogue, like looking right at camera. This is the second time I've watched over you like this. You have Pray my thanks. Save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn, after all. Tis only by your courage that I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. Mm -hmm. I seem to have become. I seem to have become a risen. That's the way he talks in my game as a pawn. Does it have ought to do with why you were taken to the castle? And he has like weird Jeff Goldblum isms every once in a while, where he'll just like end sentences by going like, "Eh," which is fun. That your wounds could be treated, but I fear you have no money. No, they sold me to a prison camp. You. We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. This is the handsomest Waluigi I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, Capcom character creators and Waluigi's, they always come out hot. My Waluigi in uh, Monster Hunter Rise was like. He was hot. Like, we, when playing this game online, we called him Hot Waluigi. Must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. I'm Rudolph glad I found you. Currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt would you be willing yep. to accompany me to the capital. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered. I would not depart without. Them. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard, but mayhap now would be a good time to speak. Mayhap. Yeah, he's at the end. All right, we'll uh, Shall we seek some answers? go talk to Leonard. Let's check the rift real quick. Yeah. All over the map, level-wise. All right. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Hello. Well met. So you're Leonard. the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? I love this guy. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, uh, consider. Now tell me, are you registered with a guild? I'm not. Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grow. Well, now that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Uh, go on. It will only take a moment. Like Balatro, I got a Perkio and a Canio on my back to back. That's pretty wild. If there is aught you wish to Damn. know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong shot, sure. but I shan't take up any. All right. Diligence has borne fruit at last. Here at the inn, we I get so few customers. You see, Let's I can manage both roles myself. Talk vocations. All right, uh, what do I have? I have just under 500. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. So this is this is how you equip all your skills and unlock skills for, uh, for your different vocations. And obviously, as you continue to level up, so right now I'm rank two as a thief, um, you get more skills that you can unlock. Uh, but you can only have four equipped at any given time. Another thing that's worth mentioning are these things called augments. These are permanent. So no matter what, uh, no matter what vocation you switch to, um, if you have unlocked these augments for a vocation, it will apply to all of your other ones. So like one that a lot of people do, uh, that I keep hearing about on podcasts is, uh, where is it? Um, oh my God. What is it? Fighter? It is fighter. Yeah. So Thu allows you to carry additional weight. Um, 
some people just like equip fighter until they get that one and then switch off just so they can like have better carry capacity stuff like that um but let's see what we got here subtlety decreases likelihood of being targeted by foes that's interesting slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow that's cool wow reduces stamina consumed when struggling in a foe's grip reduces stamina consumed when clinging to or pinning down foes wow uh those are great augments <laughs> those are like really good um subtlety is interesting to start out with i think i want to start with this and i'll get another skill also um brings the daggers together to ignite reading them in flame for a short time that's cool this makes me invisible wow oh this lets me jump which honestly is really important at the beginning of this game uh, I'm going to start with this. We're going to put it at triangle so I can jump into the air. Um, all right. Let's take a look at... I don't know how much the pawns will use things like true deflect. But uh, airward slash is going to be really important. Actually, shield bash is really good. Let's start with that. So, like I said, with, with pawns and with you, uh, you're both unlocking this stuff. And uh, no matter, you know, depending on what skills you have equipped is what skills your pawn has. Um, and you can switch these around. But also, what skills you equip um, is uh, what your pawn will have when they go into other people's games as well, if they get hired elsewhere. Do I want True Deflect? I'm going to... I'm gonna save. Uh, Did you need something? Always a pleasure. Let's save the the points for now. All right. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. To watch as we're doing. Who might have the answers we need? Should we ask around? Um. Answers for what? What is the quest? Go and speak with him. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. So I could like go talk to everybody in town and there's a bunch of different quests I could do, but uh I'm uh speed running a little bit so we can get to the capital First city. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart or do you need some time to prepare? I'm ready. Good. Then let us be on All right. Before we do though, give me a quick second. I'm going to get some more water. Uh I'll be back momentarily.
Hello. We're back. All right. We're going to the capital. So like I said, there's a bunch of other quests I could be doing in that uh, village in Melv, but um, uninterested at the moment. All right, so uh, what, what do we got here? Helm Splitter. Yeah, that's very funny. Man, I love this dash. I've been debilitated. Uh, are they all dead? I don't know. Are there more? Or is that it? Oh no, there are more. Oh no, that's it. Alright. Leveled up. Playing Stardew on my Steam Deck. How's the new update? Keep hearing about it. Oop. I whipped. Ah! Oh, that was it. That was it. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Uh, level seven. Oh, and it costs sixty-eight crystals. No, thank you. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I should. I should open this chest. I got a fruit robberant, which actually I do need for a quest. Uh. Uh. I'll do it. I'll do it real quick. We got to run back, but we're not. We're not too far. So one of the other things that people, um, yeah, people people are not very happy about is the lack of fast travel. Which that's another thing. We're like, that's the game, man. The game is all about doing exactly this: running back and forth between locations over and over and over again. Um, and just exploring, as it were. Uh, and again, that's going to be for some people, and it's not going to be for other people. Uh, but it very much is for me, because, like, you know, just wandering around and checking out what's going on off the beaten path is, you know, it's exhilarating. I didn't trust this girl at all the first time I played this. She's an apothecary in training. She wants a thing called a fruit robber. Uh, well, as luck will be a shame to return empty lot. I suppose there's no harm. It seems my luck's not as rock. She wants a fruit robber. So I could I can make one, but I just picked one up. Or simply purchase some if we follow again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit? So this is what it looks like. I haven't much to offer in return. I'll be sure to tell grandfather what you did for us. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. Ooh, I got a ring. Hello. What do we got here? Slightly boost maximum health. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Now we're really leaving. And we're going to go to the capital, which is uh it's not close. I'll say I'll say that much. The capital is uh it's down here. We have to go all the way around this way. So, buckle up, baby. Hail. If you've a moment to, s as you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always be. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Yeah, Excellent. sure. What's up? You're a good sort. Um, here's what I need from you. A bask of saurians has made their nest outside the village. Oh. Though they're yet to cause any harm. I'd like to. In I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. A That's funny. Nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. I uh I did not. A great shock to me. Do this quest. There they are. Oh wait, Where are they over here?
Where are these guys? Oh, they're right. They're right down here. No, they're showing me the casks, which I already have one of. Where are the Saurians? Oh, there they are. Oh, that's funny. They just put them like right here. All right. You have honed your talents to new heights. Bingo. I endeavor to make the fullest use of my experience. Did the first game have explosive casks? I honestly don't remember. I, I feel like they did, but I might be wrong. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of po with any luck, the sword. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on it. You must make sure your aim is true. Good. You'll find the jars of poison just out. All right. Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, master. There's a jar of poison. Uh, yeah, I did not do this last time. All right. Make sure to not get it in the river. Sploosh. Thrown, master. Oh. I'd wager those Saurians will think twice about nesting here again. Nice. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. Back to Leonard. Oh, is Leonard over here? Did I just run by him? I did. Hey, buddy. You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. Watching you <laughs> got me thinking. Mayhap you... <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us. Our task is complete. It's interesting. I guess he's the... He's the ma That's the vocation master for worthwhile. fighters. That was hardly a challenge for you. Which, uh... Adventurers of our caliber. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. I don't need to rest at all, Rhea. I got a lot of health. Hello. You good? Oh my god, what what happened to these people? <laughs> Why are they running like that? Alright, we're going to the capital. As a matter of fact, curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. I wonder why. Sure to keep that in mind. All right. We have a bunch of goblins over here. We don't need to fight them, but no reason not to. Oh, there's a cave over there. Wow. Wow. Yo, Thief is, uh, pretty cool, dude. How do I... There we go. Okay. So th these guys, like, wear shields on them. But you can, uh, pretty easily just beat the shit out of them <laughs> until they drop it. Yeah, and then you get to high five your pawns when you're done with a cool fight. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Hey Matt. Welcome. Alright. Let's uh let's is check out this cave. Can do about this obstacle? If you need that destroyed, I'm your pawn. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. Look there. I aspire another. Hell yeah, calf. Mark it in our minds as a place of interest. There we go. All right. Uh, I did not come in here my first time through either. Oh, okay. They didn't really need a lantern for very long. What is up here? Will I regret not having come here the first time around? Oh, a big statue. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. You have my support. Wow. Beautiful. I 
can use these spuds to make some things. I feel like... Oh! There's a secret down there, which I am very interested in. I know we were supposed to go to the capital, but this is basically what the game is about. It's uh, just about discovering things like this at random. Have you forgotten something arisen? Looking rather lost. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. Cindy, a level nine archer. Uh, so sometimes when you find these things, uh, they turn into new rifts so you can hire pawns. Sometimes they just turn into rare pawns, which are a couple levels above yours, and they cost zero to hire, which I'm definitely going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Rhea as much as I like Rhea. Thank you for hanging out with me, Rhea. Uh, I'll give you... What will I give you? Uh... I'll give you this leaf. It was a fine adventure we shared. May we meet again. Where are you? If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. High fiving pawns is the aloha button of this game. Yeah, absolutely. How involved with the side quests in the game is mostly go kill this thing from here. The more steps and nuances. Um it's truthfully closer to the former than the latter. They're not like too wild. Um there are some that are like way more dense than you would think they are. Um, I would say most side quests are pretty much just like, hey, go kill this thing. Um, but every once in a while, there's one that will like really kind of blow you away. Uh, so the main story stuff in particular, I'll say, is like for the most part pretty involved. Um, there's like. There's a lot of like espionage and sneaking and uh, mystery stuff going on when you're in the capital um, that like rocks. The Arisen yeah. is the lawful ruler of Berman. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, we would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Nah, man, you're, you're definitely going to trust me. Um, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, a, a lot of the side quests can just be like, go get this thing for me, please. Um, Hold here a moment. I shall fit them open the gate. The thing about this game, though, is like... Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? So many of them, and so much of this game, just has a lot more depth than you think arisen, it does. By all appearances. An arisen. Another pretender, you mean. I see the Sovereign <laughs> Ascension has done little to stop... It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I... I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded. Mm-hmm. All's been arranged. Let's go through the gate. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about side quest. Yeah, so, so much of this game uh, has a level of depth that you don't even really clock uh, until you come face to face with it, I think. One never can have too many of these. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? The game is uh the game is accounting for most stuff that you do. So even a quest as simple as like go save, you know, this kid from wolves or something. Uh frequently will have a lot more going on than than you're expecting. Um, but whether you notice that, see that, whether the game telegraphs that it is noticing that and seeing that, like it's all 
kind of all up to chance. Um, which again is, you know, it's going to be for some people. It's not going to be for other people, but it is for me. All right. We're picking up a lot of stuff here. They're just leaving all this stuff uh, lying around, so I'm grabbing it. Oh, a campsite and a rift crystal. This seed would eat a spot for a campsite. Resting when and where you can is the secret to weathering a long journey. All right, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give that camp pack to Kath. I just want to stay pretty light if I can. We don't need to camp now, though. I have more than enough health. Just got to make it to the capital. Hello. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Yeah, it must have. Many people are saying this. Hello. It's another pawn. Sometimes pawns are just walking around. A lot of these goblins just got killed by that. I haven't dropped anything good, though. That goblin is alive. We have no means of exploding our enemy weakness. I shan't allow any further harm to come to me. I should keep staying in this little healing rift. There we go. Is that it? Who are we fighting? Hmm. Okay. No biggie. Oh, here's a goblin. Oh, here's a lot of goblins. Damn. Okay. Got rid of this one with the... Ah! 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 Oh, shit, dude. Okay. So I, I can call for help. Um. Oh, my God. You can uh, you can order the pawns around. You can see on the bottom left, I have these four buttons: go, help, wait, or to me. Team's going. Team's doing great over there. We leveled up again. You love to see it. Um, yeah, so you needn't trouble yourself. Go is like, hey pawns, you know, this is combat or this is like a thing that's happening. Like, go do whatever you want. Um, wait obviously means like, hey, wait here. To me, also pretty obviously means like, come stand by me. And uh, help is like, hey, I'm I'm dying here. And uh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some assistance or whatever. Where'd that harpy go? There we go. A bunch of harpies over here. I should just start the fight. How's that, my guy? How's that feel? Probably pretty bad, huh? Hello. I'm still making the combat noise. Oh yeah, there's all these people fighting in the distance. Oh, I'm about to fall asleep. You must regain your 
I'm asleep, but my pawns can wake me up. Thank you. Oh, I'm asleep again. Oh, and I can also wake my pawns up when they fall asleep. That's it. Nice. Calf, leveled up. Um, anyway, I got distracted before when I was, when we were talking about this, but, uh, what's, oh, we got wolves? Oh, shit, dude. I need help. I'm being carried to my death. <laughs> I have no wake stones, right? Load from last save. Oh man, when was the last save? Okay. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gather. No, thank you. All right, that wasn't too bad. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Uh, you can see, so I died, and my max health is now lower than it was before. Um, the only way to fix that is to rest. All right, we need to back up. I just hit the go command to just kind of like let my pawns do whatever they want. Oh, one of my pawns is dead. That's bad. That's oh, like the strong one too. Oh shit, dude. Oh, I'm dead too. All right, well. <laughs> Brutal. I'm not so used to dying to goblins this easily. Hmm. Got to think a little bit more about that encounter. Also, my max health is going to be much lower now. Honestly, probably not even worth dealing with. Should probably just forge onward. Where is our buddy? Did he like die? Where is he at? The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. I don't know where he went, but we're just going to go. Anyway, um Ooh, hello. Yeah, where's where's our guy at? I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Is that a campsite also? Honestly, maybe we use that real quick. Make camp. I don't think we have any meat to cook, right? No. All right, rest till morning. We didn't get attacked. That's now nice. We've the vim to tackle the day ahead. We sure do. We go then. Feeling rested, I trust. Oh, there he is. Anyway, uh, the thing I was gonna talk about before, the uh, audiobook slash podcast game of it all. Um, so much of this game is about listening and being perceptive of the world. So like when pawns are talking, are when people in, life and vocation. when it's people in the capital are talking, it's like equipment. worth listening. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Oh, I should keep in mind that this is here. We're trapped. We're trapped. Hello, buddy. 
Um, so every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to listen to a podcast and play Dragon's Dogma for a bit, uh, it just, it never works out the way I want it to. Okay. No! What a bummer. All right. Let's uh, just try and hit it with a big rock. There we go. Good job, buddy. Oh, I'm trying to get onto its head. There we go. Oh, this guy's going down in no time, baby. Jump, jump. Well, this is going very well. Judged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. I, of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us. You are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Well now. The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. Uh I could I could try. Let's uh take this. Very conveniently placed explosive barrel. <laughs> Absolutely bodied our mage here. That was very funny. All right. Is the cart now? Do you intend to join us? I do. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll... This is like one of the best things about this game. So, the way ox carts work is uh. destination is a distant one, I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Oh, hang on a second. Wonder how best to proceed. Let's grab this. Uh, I don't need another camping kit. I already have one. So. This is like one of the quote unquote fast travel options here uh, is you just get onto an ox cart and you can just kind of like, like I could just, you know, hang out now. The game is just going to do this. Every master I've ever served has favored different tactics. One party I joined consisted only of brain specialists. That's interesting. Now there's a thought. Uh, but if you notice on the bottom right, we have a get up button and also a doze off button. So if I hit the doze off button, we just fall asleep and we either wake up when we're being attacked, which we are, or we wake up, uh, at our destination. But right now, uh, we're getting attacked, so... Wow. 
Absolutely rock those dudes. Seems we drove them off. Burnworth isn't far from here. We'll all right. Yep. Into the ox cart. Into the ox cart. A low key video game podcast. The following morning. Here we are. This scene is, uh, it's good. It's a good scene. I was informed of your coming, would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. I wouldn't trust this guy. To questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. He looks like he's really good at tennis. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. That's it. That's all we know about Waluigi. He's good at tennis. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, your majesty. King Waluigi, more like. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been imperiled. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. Yeah, mayhap. And no other other sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet... Not all celebrated your coming. Not everybody. This is where the political intrigue stuff happens, which uh, I thought I was going to be bored by, but I actually found really interesting and continue to find really interesting. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. It's an interesting note. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Raises some questions about what death means and what, like, reloading a save means. Following that, hmm. she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. That we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. 
You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Great. We got a bunch of money. Uh, we got an explanation of the plot. And now, give me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Cool, Sarnet. Get back here. You there? Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? I will lie. I'll catch that wretch yet. Bye bye. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. <laughs> Till next we meet. Farewell. Bye-bye. All right, let's uh, grab this ore real quick. Okay, uh, so now we're in the main city. Uh, which is pretty great. It's a cool place. A lot going on. Where are my pawns at? There they are. Might be worth a, read. a thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. Hmm. What are you pointing me towards? Pointing me towards something over here. Oh, you're pointing me at this. Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're here. Shipments like these are few and far between. Well, wasn't super helpful, but thank you, Pons. All right, so first thing we need to do is uh, get some what you need if you want to survive. real armor. Uh, so you can see here there's different armor that works for different classes. So over on the right, uh, these icons refer to the different vocations that you have. Uh, and we are looking for something that works for me. A thief. I don't think I want a scaled jacket. Uh, Hunter's mail is interesting. The ranger's vest seems like kind of the obvious one. I just want to make sure I have enough for... pants also if we do that and we do that how much does that come out to 11 let's do it so and we can sell this stuff before you check the price we have 4,000 left. Let's take a look real quick at some cloaks. I mean, the purple regal cloak makes the most sense for Waluigi, uh, so I think we have to do it. Just remember, many thanks. I appreciate the business. And now, our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. We are dashing. And Waluigi. Necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. The pawn dialogue in this game is very oblivion coded. Absolutely, it is. Um. So, yeah, now we're here in the capital, and you know, we could keep going on with the main quest, but uh, there's a lot to do here. Like check out the pawn guild, which has this very big rift crystal. Uh, which is pretty great. So this Rift Crystal is where you can like search for pawns. Um, you know, advanced search, like check out like my friend's pawns. So where's, uh, here's, here's Steven's pawn, White Claw, who I could hire. Uh, it's very exciting. But uh, for now, We'll stick with the pawns we have. What and, are you doing? Uh, We've not been given leave to rest yet. What, do, what does she want me to be doing? Um, this is the other method of fast travel. It's called a port crystal. There are some permanent ones like this uh, in some 
very rare locations. Um, but outside of that, um, you can get a couple. I think there are four maximum in the game that you can get your hands on. I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Indeed. Tell us there's been a modest. shift in the chain of command. Uh, bu -bu 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 I forget if modest is better than suitable locations. Oh, this is already what we have. All right. In that case, I will give this to someone else. All right. What I'm trying to do is get to the top of here. Anyway, port crystals. Um, so port crystals allow you to fast travel. Um, but you also need a second item, which is called a rift. Oh, sorry. Uh, is it a rift stone? Fairy stone. You need a fairy stone to actually fast travel. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the game, here's a cool spot with a bunch of free stuff. Hey, allow me to open your chest. Must finding these be so difficult? Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own. Oh, there it is, a fairy stone. All right. Uh, if I recall correctly. This is very good for calf. Yeah, it's much better. I was using this uh, as my character for a very long time. Do you end up doing mechanically stupid things to stick to the Waluigi shtick? Um, not yet. I mean, you know, this is beginning of the game, so... Not so much. Honestly, it's kind of why I like having Waluigi as a pawn more than I like having Waluigi as the character I'm playing as. Because as a pawn, uh, like, my Waluigi in my game on Xbox, like, he's got a whole thing going on. He's got a deeply funny character. Characterization and vibe. Uh, I'm just a big fan of him. All right, so I think down on the first floor we can talk to... This vocation guy. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to oh. the. Oh, okay. Uh, let's very quickly let's see what we got going on here. Don't need to worry about that uh, or that. This we can deposit. Cool. Almost hospitality in all Vernworth. We can combine some items too while we're at it. Make some fruit robberants. Nice. You know where to find me. Great. Uh, and I want to go talk to the vocations guy. Who I thought was here, but I guess he's oh he's down here. One floor lower. Hello. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. Let's equip some skills. Yeah, look at all this new stuff we have access to. All right. Um, and I have a lot more points, so I'm going to use this. Core skills. Robs the target out of an item when an attack connects. That's pretty cool. Tucks the body into a tight roll when hitting the ground after being knocked down, allowing the user to swiftly regain their feet. When knocked down, press X the instant you make contact with the ground. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, dude. That sounds great. What do we got here? I kind of like this idea of getting, like, fiery blades. Um... Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me? Dude, the thief is awesome in this game. What? Okay, I am going to get this, though. Forgive me, but oh. I'm afraid we are not. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, 
we are unable to outfit new members. This guy looks a lot like the guy who played Sandman. And we cannot simply purchase more. And Netflix presents and Sandman. So regrettably, I cannot. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? All right, let's. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to equip some stuff for Cap real quick. All right, augments metal increases your defense. Yes. Um. Yes. Traces a grand skyward arc with your blade. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Uh, we'll use airward slash as well. And uh, shield summons is great because it draws all the enemies to them, uh, which is really good to have on a pawn. Have I can also give you this you token. Get a free fairy stone out of the deal. Methinks Roderick, he runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you. Whence might we procure such a thing? Oh, another ring. Is that the same ring that I'm already wearing? It is. I will give it to Kath. And I'll have Kath wear it. Cool. Uh, it's just about nighttime now, which means Ooh. it's time to go to the pub here, the tavern. Talk to our buddy. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt it. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. Mm. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen. Then we got to sneak into the coronation of the nobility and citizen. If your Majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Uh, so there, there's, there's a bunch of quests that you get here. Um, some of these are like infiltrating the castle and like getting some stuff out of there, which is honestly very fun. Uh, this one is just going out and killing a bunch of monsters, which is like the one that makes the most sense to start with. Citizenry, I've called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation? I thank you, your majesty. Three locales. The first is Trebo Mine, to the northwest. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Harv is very far away. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. This is the one that always worries me, uh, or at least that worried me the first time. Just sounded like one that might expire, which I don't think it actually does, but... Yeah, does not. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. Uh, so you could pick up all of his quests at once, but this isn't really the kind of game for that. I would not recommend just like saying yes to every single quest you get in this game. Uh, it's not quite the answer here. Um, all right, it's eleven. I've been playing this game for like two hours. Uh, I feel like it's probably time to to wrap up here but thank you so much for tuning in to this stream um i uh i'd like to stream more of this game um i think it'd be fun to try and play through it a little bit differently uh than i did the first time because that's a that's a thing a lot of people do with the first dragon sogma um which i understand um 
But, um, wow. This rocks. But I'd like to do a lot more with this one. So I will. Uh, let me take one good photo before we, before we depart. Hang on. The trick with this photo, there's a, there's a lot going on with this photo mode. It's not very good. Let me start with that. You know what we should do, actually? I have a thought. We'll do like a cool portrait here. Turn some blur on. Uh, get some bloom in here. Just get it a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Nice. It's a... Uh, I think I, I think I like sideways more. What does this do? Screen filter on and off. I don't know. Anyway, bingo. All right. Nice. Well, gonna leave Waluigi here for now. Um, if you'd like to pick up Kath, though. Um, there's her info right there. Um, so check that out. I'll also post that somewhere maybe. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, I like Waluigi and Kath a whole bunch. And I can't wait to hang out with them more. Anyway, have a wonderful time. Uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody.